Hi everyone and welcome to dinner with my neighbor. Today is the 76th time that I'm cooking for dinner with my neighbor and it's actually not quite cooking today because we're gonna make a nice peach frozen yogurt. As you can tell you need something else for this so that's an ice cream machine that I found online for about 65 bucks um, which is great because if you think about you go to um, an ice cream shop and you pay for an ice cream like five or six dollars how often do you eat ice cream and don't don't cheat huh? <laughs> so for a peach frozen yogurt you do need peaches however many people you are you remember you can always keep the ice cream or the frozen yogurt in the freezer too so if you make a little bit too much and you feel the next day while watching a movie eating some you still have some left you need some yogurt huh whatever you like non-fat whole milk um, you need some milk huh? or half and half it's really up to you and some sugar and that's it huh so main thing is really the fruits and you can do this with any fruit you also need a blender Okay, because we're going to make first um, the whole mix and then we're going to put it in here. So this whole thing probably takes about like 35-40 minutes because this depends how soft, how cold you want it. Um, also in terms of texture, this can take 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get the blender ready and then we're working on the peaches. As for the peaches, you just really want to wash them well because we're not going to take off that skin because this is super delicate and very nice to have in the frozen yogurt. So just wash it really well and you basically just want to cut it around the seed, right? Because there's this big seed in the middle um, that's a little hard to get out. It's like a mango, it's a little easier. And you can pretty much leave it as it is. You can also cut it in more pieces, but it's pretty much fine because if you want to put it in the blender, this is just all gonna be more um, liquidish, okay? So just do that with all of them. And then I'll show you the next step. Then what you wanna do once you have all your peaches, you just put them in the blender. And we'll start making them smaller. Close your ears. All right, and I actually like the fact that you see the fruit and you still see some pieces on the side here. Um, however much you want to make this a puree, huh? you can leave it for as long as you want and it just gets real, real soft and can be really nice for sorbet. I'll leave this like that because I personally like it with a little bit of fruit in there. So we'll take that and then I'll show you the next step. So this here is the frozen ice cream bowl that you make the ice cream with. I just took this out of the freezer. You have to have it in there for at least like 10 hours so it really gets cold because this has like a liquid, like a gel or something in the inside that freezes and if that's not cold enough you can't really make the ice cream, okay? So that overnight and then put it in here. Now. Then this thing here, you put in here, like that, and then you can close the lid on top. Some yogurt. And a little bit of sugar. With sugar, be a bit careful because you think it maybe needs a lot, but depending on how ripe the fruit is, you might be surprised because they're really already very sugary. So just put a little bit for now, you can always add more. And then I would just turn it a little bit, huh? So it's all kind of mixed. And here we go, for like 20 minutes, maybe 30. Here we go. This looks great. So let me show you this from a little closer. Ta-da! So here's our frozen yogurt with peas. 
peach. You can just serve it like that. Put it in a nice glass. Beautiful. With a little bit of a mint on top. And that's it. Your peach frozen yogurt. Enjoy. And if you've liked what you've seen today, the peach frozen yogurt, please share it online. It's so simple. You can eat frozen yogurt for dinner. Why not? It's called hashtag dinner with my neighbor. And I just post like different recipes online that hopefully give you some idea of what to do during this crazy time of COVID-19. As long as the restaurants and everything is still closed, you can at least stay connected and have a virtual dinner or lunch or breakfast with each other, okay? So it's just as much about cooking and getting ideas about food and what to make at home as it is about a social experience. I'm actually a musician myself and I write like kind of traditional Swiss music, but not quite. It's, it's very much mixed with like other styles from the United States. And you can all find this information of what it is exactly on the website called GabriellaMartina.com. And you'll find lots of other things. I just had an interview with WBUR and you can find that link there too. So I hope you enjoyed and um, you have a great day. Stay healthy, stay sane and I'll see you at the next dinner with my neighbor.